Yeah, guys, the coach told me this will impact all classes, big schools, small schools, and everything in between. Now the clock is ticking to get this done. I think that creates anxiety for everybody. Um, a lot of teams had schedules out. They had homecoming scheduled. They had non-district opponents scheduled. High school football season is still months away, but coaches and athletic departments across the state now have a pressing issue, reworking their team schedules for the upcoming season. We're uh, in a time crunch. This is unprecedented for our state. In a court ruling this week, a judge halted amendments to an OSSAA rule made last year. Coach Jones explains those amendments. Uh, we would amend Rule 14, evolve it to where now uh, private schools that met the success criteria could actually bump two classes. Uh, the 5A cap was lifted off of uh, and basically placed into 6A2 for football. But the judge said that's not allowed, and the rules will go back to the way they were previously, meaning private schools could only bump up one classification above their average daily membership if their team's record meets the requirements. The ruling also restores the 5A cap, meaning private schools cannot go up to 6A. We've got to have numbers from the State Department of Education, um, which we'll go off of to, to reclassify uh, all of our, our different classifications that we have for our football playing schools. For example, that means a 4A school could possibly go up to 5A based on its population. Or a 3A school could find itself all of a sudden in 2A if they lost some students. Dozens of football team schedules might need to be reworked because teams aren't in the same class anymore. Now some schools may change, you know, 50 to 100 students. Some may change five to six students, but but even at the minimal side, that five to six students could bump a school a class and move another school down. Now the coach told me he hopes this can all be worked out by next month and there is an OSSAA meeting coming up on Wednesday next week. In Oklahoma City, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.